They're digging with bare hands. This brave attempt to save a child's life in the Syrian province of Idlib being repeated across a region hit by yesterday's catastrophic earthquake. The fate of the rest of the family is unknown, but at last she's safe. Across the border, rescuers in Turkey search in freezing temperatures, hoping to pull more survivors from the rubble. As the hours tick by, they look among tangles of metal and concrete, knowing those who lived but are trapped can't survive for much longer without food, water and warmth. And for those who survived, thousands are homeless and in need of tents, medical care and sustenance. In Syria, survivors found solace at a Maronite monastery in Aleppo, a place of safety and kindness. Brother George Saba said, we're looking after about 800 people here. There isn't a space in the convent that isn't being used by the elderly, children, men and women. And an inferno at the Turkish port of Iskenderun. Many millions of dollars of goods from all over the world consumed by a wildfire sparked by the quake. Winter in the region is especially harsh, intense cold and snow, adding to the despair of people who've lost homes and family members. The head of the United Nations is calling on countries around the world to respond with generosity. The United Nations is mobilizing to support the emergency response and so let's work together in solidarity to assist all those hit by this disaster, many of whom were already in dire need of humanitarian aid. Rescue teams are being dispatched to Turkey from across the world, Pakistan being one nation that's responded to the call. And the Turkish people also want to help their fellow citizens this was Istanbul Airport, where hundreds of volunteers searched for flights to the earthquake-stricken region. Experts say there's a crucial 72-hour window to recover the living from under the rubble. Failure means these collapsed buildings will become their tomb. John Cookson, Arise News.